Hello students, this is Mr. Hart. And in this video, we want to start talking about algorithms and data. And this unit is a really fun unit where we start to get the basics of programming down. And we start to think about how we can solve problems in a very particular way and in a useful way um, using algorithms and data. Okay. So to start off thinking about algorithms, I want you to think about one of the tallest buildings in the world. In fact, currently it's the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. Okay. And the Burj Khalifa is 163 stories tall, okay, which is just massive. Now, fortunately, this building has many, many elevators for people to go up and down it. But I want you to think about if it just had one elevator that you could use. Okay, It'd be a nightmare to try and get everyone up and down that elevator. Um, and this is the video that you should have watched before watching this one that presents the following problem. Okay, Imagine that you had this really tall building and all these different people had to get to these different floors. Well, if it only had one elevator and that elevator could only hold three people at a time, what is the minimum number of stories that you would need to travel in the elevator okay, to get everyone where they need to be? So rather than giving you the answer to this problem or just telling you straight out how to do it, I want you to start thinking about a process that you can follow to solve this problem. Okay, it probably isn't going to work if you just randomly grab a few people, send them up the elevator, send the elevator back down, and do the calculation and see what number you get. Randomly combining them is not a very good answer. Okay, so there is an answer to this problem that is the optimal way to do it. But rather than thinking for the specific solution in this one, think of the process you take to solve this problem. Okay. So we won't solve this right now. This is actually your homework to take a look and try and solve it yourself. Um, we'll solve it in the next video. But for now, I want you to think about that process. And that process is what we call an algorithm. Okay. So an algorithm is a set of rules to be followed in order to complete a calculation. Okay. So specifically, every algorithm has some kind of input some calculation steps we want to follow and then kind of an end result that we get from it. Okay, So we can think of the elevator problem as an algorithm. These are the different floors people need to go to. right? That's our input. We want to figure out the right steps we want to take to get them up the elevator as fast as possible. And then the result will be how many floors we traveled. Okay, So We'll, we'll continue talking about algorithms and I'll give you the answer in the next video. But again, I want you to think about this particular setup. Okay, What steps do we take to send these people up the elevator in the best way possible? So we don't have to spend as, spend as little time as possible on the elevator. Okay, So think about how you would group three of these people at a time, send them up the elevator, have the elevator come back down, get the next group of three, etc. Send them up the other, have it come back down. Okay. And see if you can get that number as small as possible. Okay. All right. So that is your homework. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. And we'll talk about the answer and the solution to this problem.